Hey everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Starfield series. Now, we are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, where we just arrived in the orbit of Neptune to find Morara's ship, who has a piece of the artifact on it. So, let's begin. Do you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. Alright, so this is Moara's ship. We know it's going to go hostile, because that's as far as we got when I realized we should uh, take a break and come back. So, that's as far as I've gone. We can see level 10... Get ready. And I think... Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if he'll actually fire at us. There we go. Alright, let's boost after him. He's getting away. Oh, that's cool. He's been hijacked. I don't know how to target the engines. I don't know how to do that. So, so I guess just fire on them normally and see what happens. Break those shields. God, his turning angle is so sharp. I keep pulling the throttle back and then trying to catch up to him by putting it back forward. I'm getting so disorientated here. <laughs> He's like right at the edge all the time. Alright, we got him. Down to 50% now. He's boosting away. You can see the distance. 1,000 meters. Close that gap. Oh yeah, sure, I've got missiles. Oh man, that was a sharp turn. I don't know how he did that. Oh, again with the turns. Oh, just out of range. Might have to keep the speed just a little bit lower. I'm trying to like get a sharp angle. There we go. Alright, there we go. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the engines are down. You've got to fly close, etc. Alright. Alright, woo, team. slow Come down, on. slow down. Let's go rescue that vanguard. And there we go. Cooper, I need three degrees starboard. We are lined up. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's do this thing. So I've actually haven't boarded a ship yet. My guy looks uh <laughs> terribly excited for this. <laughs> He's like so passive. Uh, actually, we need to focus on the inventory first. Gotta sort this out. Alright, think I'm good. Got our shotgun. We have a P90. Close range weapons. Make sure they're reloaded. Decent amount of ammo. They're not that much. Why can't I... Where the hell is the... Oh, there it is. It's up on the roof. The docking hatch. Off right away, didn't need a little bit of time. What the hell are you talking about, Sarah? She doesn't even know where we are. God damn. She's crazy. Can't wait to ditch her. That's pretty cool, actually. I haven't been in another ship yet. Quite eerie. Especially with this music. Anyone in the bathroom? <laughs> I say that. If he, It's not a bad place to hide, actually. Mmm, chunks cake. I need to get in the habit of using my scanner more. It just shows you what everything is and where everything is. Right, nothing too interesting here. Another hatch above me, but I don't think that's accessible. Some various coffee cups and stuff. Little box here. I mean, this is Moara's stuff, so I kind of feel bad taking it. We got one. Yeah, they're on the radar now. Just click it, guys. Boom! Easy. Four shots, two dead. Good. Oh, I wasn't sure. I thought that was Moara. He has the icon above him. Would you shut up about being British? Jesus. We get it. We're in the middle of a firefight boarding another ship, and all you can think about is your tea. Oh, that's why they have icons. It's to clear the room. I didn't notice. Boom. <laughs> yeah, trying to use the old shotgun 
to just take a chunk of health, swap to the P90. Break him down then. Go on, Sarah. Have at him. Jeez, just pumped him full of bullets. Let's see if we can finish him off with the pistol. Uh, Sarah! That was mine. She comes in and takes all the glory here at the end. Alright, so get the key on this guy's body. Moara's ship key. Some ammo, some picks. Modified Grendel. Yeah, we'll take it all. Let's have a quick look around. See if you can find anything before we head forward. Just uh, move this guy, put him with his buddies. Damn, Sarah's looking pretty hot in this lighting. Is that your first book? Red light situation going Goodbye. on. Alright, here we are. Hello. I've come to rescue you. Are you alright? Hello? <laughs> ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Uh, let's see. Constellation. Nah. Who are these people? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. Hmm. Think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Breaching a ship and saving lives, my kind of party. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. Oh god, Sarah. The, what? Isn't that interesting Seriously? how lighting makes Man, a big I've difference? Heard stories, <laughs> but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? No. It'll be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Yeah, that's good. I'm surprised he wasn't like, oh, it's worth something? Give me loads Thanks of money. Again for the rescue. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. No problem. I'll just, uh, where is it? Um, I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it quite, almost quite literally a hood ornament, yeah. Let's get back to the oh, it's as easy as that. I'll see you later. Everybody? <laughs> Alright, cool. Sarah still with me? Yeah. Well, Sarah, I'm just gonna... I need some alone time, okay? That's my fill of you for the day. Let's get into the cockpit and uh, get moving. Okay, so artifact secured. Back to the lodge. Constellation, Jemison. Tars, proceed to undock, please. Now, I just realized something looking at it there. It's smoking. It di didn't we, like, disable its engines? How's he gonna go anywhere? Shouldn't we, like, call for someone to go repair it? Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's just floating there amongst the asteroids. He's just gonna die. <laughs> no one... Does he have a radio transmitter, that kind of thing? I don't know. Well, good luck, I guess. Let's soak in the sights of Neptune before we shoot off. Alright, to Jemison. Alright, mission complete. Sarah's walking with a very... with a lot of purpose to her step. I hope you are satisfied Go with ahead. the quarters the available answer. to you. Add the artifacts. Just throw it down again, just <laughs> haphazardly. It fits. Energy spiked a bit. But it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Okay. That's speculation. Hey, like, I think you're right. Yeah. We need more. Here. Oh, we can see like her stats this. and stuff. 
Welcome to Constellation. Astrodynamics. I'm As a proficient in that. Time. And whoa, careful. The artifacts are kind of floating around there. Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Um, can we get, can we get, can we get out of the way of the radioactive uh, space of material? By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? Ooh, I'm not sitting behind you my hang desk out, for this. These artifacts are yeah. a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out. out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Yeah, so the thing about that is, you know, like, maybe later. Fair enough. You know, we'll think but about it. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. Okay. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. Mm -hmm. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And this last thing is so least, ridiculous. Noel, have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Yeah, I want to go back and get Barrett. Maybe Lynn is still there. Um, I, I really want to be done with this, so we'll just talk with Sarah in the future and leave it at Time that. So just press back. Got another skill point available. I'm gonna... So I've been playing for quite a long time. I'm, I'm gonna go take a break myself. Alright, Vasco. Yes, yeah, so I've been playing for quite a while. I'm gonna just go take a break, go to my room, have a sleep, and uh, then we'll resume tomorrow to continue our adventure. There's lots of new missions popping up now, so this is where I feel like we can kind of do whatever we want. I'll probably, um... Well, that's not my room. Probably just do a little bit of exploring the sandbox, maybe do some surveying of planets and stuff, and then if some interesting stuff happens, we'll resume. So in walking around, I picked up this conversation to do with the tree having problems, so it's from this guy, Kelton Frush. So let's see what he's got for us. Hello. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Is there something wrong? Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Uh, not really. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. Okay. I don't normally solicit help from... I'm not getting an option by, to say anything. It seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? You know what? I would love to help, even though you're kind of rude. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Okay, so your standard little fetch quest. Locate the biosensors. Let's check it out with the scanner. Yeah, I feel like this is something that we could just do over time. Don't necessarily have to do it right away. Oh, little news broadcast. Love listening to these. Oh, there's the... Tr oh, yeah, the tree is actually huge. I never noticed it being that big. Sista for building up to fight the Crimson Fleet. Okay. Alright, let's get a move on. Bye. 
by Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. I can't believe it. All right, I uh, Is it you? Is it totally me? forgot that this could happen. Really you? So we have our perk Captain for the adoring the fan. Fleet. Looks like he's just chosen now to show up. Constellations shine. And uh, I didn't even have my microphone ready. It was pushed off to the side. I've just been messing around for a while. So uh, why don't you get away from me, you weirdo? Oh, you must have me confused with someone who isn't your number one fan. There's nothing weird about that. <laughs> Although for a second, I didn't even recognize you. Shame on I like to think he's just someone who just found me for the first time now, now and became a fan, it's right? It's just some crazy person. What are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee yeah. instead. Doesn't have great stats well, either. I Weightlifting. I routine for one day and here you are. It's almost like it was meant Although scavenging be. could be good. The introvert option. You make it sound like I'm famous. I'd much rather fade into the background. Fade? Never. A star like yours will never lose its luster. It burns like a supernova, only brighter and covered by insurance. Either <laughs> way, it's such an honor. I don't think I am covered by insurance, but... <laughs> hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? <laughs> a hero! <laughs> do we get the option, I guess, now? Lead the way! Oh, I do get the option. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to be my sidekick, won't you need a costume? Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Mm. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Yeah. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. You won't Oh, we'll take him on, assign him his crew, put him on the ship. Manage your crew, review, and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills, which enhance them. Uh, yeah, put him on the frontier. Perfect. That's what I want. I don't want him following me around, but stick him on the ship or something is fine. All right, we have Sarah in there as well. Cool. That's fine by me. Get to work, lackey. What is he doing? Is that a gun? Oh, it's like a little scanner thing. So I'm thinking that we'll probably just pick a point of interest here on Jemison just to keep it local and do some mining or exploring and see different things. There's a science outpost here, so we'll just set that as our target and kind of explore around a little bit. Oh, we've just landed. Okay. I, there was no, like, um, you know, animation for us coming in like that. And then we still have this animation. It's so creepy the way I get so close to the camera. Anyways. Let's uh, see what we'd actually pretty quickly. I wanted to do some research to see sort of like what different materials I'm going to be looking for. If we want to do a little bit of crafting and research in outposts and development, we have manufacturing and we need zero wire, iron, all these different things. I got actually tons of iron, so that's fine. But the other stuff, I'm not sure what I need for that. So actually, one requires one. I don't get it. It says like requires one out of one and then it says one out of three. The sealant says zero out of three, so I've tracked it, so we should be able to just spot these things if we've come across them or hopefully we can make them ourselves. Alright, let's get moving. Alrighty, there we have it. Ultimate freedom. Time to go exploring. So we have fauna, flora, resources. Points of interest, and actually, actually, before we do, let's soak in the sights and sounds. Look at this, the fog rolling between the hills, the sunset, and we have an apex parrot hawk flying over there, level one. So you have to get kind of close to these guys if you want to scan them. I'm guessing they're hostile if they've got the, uh, the red next to them. Oh, I didn't have to get too close actually to that one, that was okay. And it's 13%. Yeah, so I guess you have to just build it up over time. No Man's Sky style. A herding reef walker scavenger. Dead. Oh, we can scan those too. Okay. Let's see if we can just get closer to this guy. There's actually a bunch of stuff around here. Oh, there's one, but it's alive. Defensive temperament. Oh, there's a little fight going on over here. 
the apex predator, I guess, hunting or something. But they look like they're fighting back. That's cool, though, that they have a little ecosystem going on. There's a lot of dead ones, though. This gives a chance to scan all of them, probably, here. Yeah, there we go. 100%. That's our first animal done. I don't know where that noise came from. I'm sure there's a ship landing next to me or something. He's scanned already, I think. Should we help them out? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. It's down. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, he's locked onto me. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's still hunting. So many of these uh, animals are dead. We should take them out. Although, I guess you, in some ways, it's like... Oh, my God. In some ways, it's like, oh, you don't want to interfere. But it seemed the right thing to do. A structural bone. Okay. Let's see if these guys dropped anything. That one's just sitting there on his own, looking at his dead, fallen brethren. His pack. Genetic material, toxins, yeah. I feel bad for this guy. Look at him, he's just like, what do I do now? They're all dead. His whole family. Oh, you can actually scan the points of interest. That makes sense. I'll head towards that, I think. What's this? Got a little beetle here. Beetle grazer. Cute. That's gonna be a bit tricky to find these guys. <laughs> Starting to get dark. Oh, here we go. The structure. Oh my god, the, the sun just set, like, right in front of me. Oh, cool. Abandoned Bionics Lab. Man, that was, like, straight out of a E3 presentation or whatever. Crest the hill, the sun sets. Boom. You're at the lab. Let's check it out. It's a bit awkward to get up here. Oh my god, we got hostile robots. Level 6. Break out the laser. I don't really... I was kind of hoping just for some chill exploration. Not really in the mood for combat. Oh, there's a few on the radar now, actually. Ugh. Wow, he is taking hits. Cool, but I'm just—I'm not sure if I want to commit to going into this base right now and fighting robots for a while. I didn't really bring any ammo with me. I'm quite light on supplies. Dumped my inventory before we came down here because I thought I'd be picking up resources. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to continue to explore. We can always come back. We know where this is. So, righty, we've got an apex crocodile. And it's natural habitat. You get close to one of these and you'll literally bite your balls off. I think we got another one over there, actually. Scanned. All right. It's pretty cool, though. He's, like, feasting on, like, a carcass or whatever. Just back off. Need to improve the range of this thing, so I'm trying to level it up. Unexplored ecological feature. What have we got here? These guys are chill. They don't attack. Oh yeah, unknown feature. Is it hostile? Oh, they seem to react when I scanned it. Tendrils filter through the air and ground for nutrients and relay sensory information to the microbial colony. Sounds kind of toxic. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, the other one's over there. I guess it's just... Sentient microbial colony. All right, and it's filled in one of the little three question marks. 100 XP. Are you kidding? Wow. Yeah, look at this. We got two more of them here, but they're level one, so 
I think we can get close. Yeah, you take him down. Jeez, oh, it does a bit of a stun lock. Should I get some distance. Jetpack. There we go, yeah, that's more like it. Just gotta get used to the, you know, I keep saying it, but still I'm getting used to the, uh, the feel of the guns, the controls. Jetpacky and stuff like that. See if you can hit this guy from a distance. He's got more health than the other one did. Back off, he looks so derpy. <laughs> Alright. Three percent spice. Oh, the spice menange. Unexplored ecological feature again. And no survivalist. Well, he doesn't look like he survived. Bourbon and a deep mining spacesuit. Can we turn him over, maybe? Controls for the moving and the placing is so annoying. I wish they would just give you full control. It'd be nice. You can rotate, but you can't like rotate it like from the other axis. So, oh, sorry. Well, it works. We can see his face now. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what his deal is. But he died right here. Looks like some sort of like beehive thing, kind of. Dense roots, fibers, and other biotic structures merge into a nutrient-rich storage cluster that sits on channels extending off towards other clusters. Okay. 100 XP there, I'll take it. Looks cool. Little fireflies or something around it. It looks pretty hazardous, but it's not showing up as toxic gas or anything. And I guess that's just it. You can't interact with it, so... So move on to the next one. Your ship. Yep. There it is. Still thinking the fact that I have the wanted trait. I don't know if these ships are ever going to be for me. He's it's actually pretty close. It's going to be really close, in fact. Let's get the gun out. That's so cool. Alright, so he's just over the hill. It looks like he's heading towards that facility, actually, so maybe not for me. I'm not too sure. It looks like just some sort of... I mean, it just says structure. Is that gunshots? Yeah, there's gunshots. I think there's... A couple of groups fighting, maybe? Or maybe we could rescue someone? Let's get close, but stay stealthy for now. What do we got? A pirate. He's very low in health, actually. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. Sneak attack. Done. One inside the building, I think. Guy on the left here. He's taking cover from the other group. Guess he doesn't know I'm here. I'll take some shots. Why not? Well, he knows now. I saw that other guy run off as well. Oh, he's still outside. I thought he went in. It's so hard to see. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Oh, he's crawling. <laughs> he's down. Again, not sure who that other group are. Could be other pirates. The pirates seem to be the ones under attack, so maybe it's the vanguard, actually. Don't recognize the ship. Got some toxic barrels there. Let's check this guy for ammo. Oh, nice. He had some maelstrom ammo. Favorite weapon so far. Alright, let's breach this. Ooh.
bounty, so they are after me. Or maybe not. Oh, how are you? You're unaware. You didn't hear the door open. <laughs> What? Oh my god, they're making a run for it? Oh no, they might be running to the ship. Oh, it won't open. Come on. It says ready. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, we'll go around. We'll go around. Damn. I really... I think he, I want to be able to take that ship. She might be making a beeline for it. Let's just check the door. Ow. Nope. Oh, that's them. That must be them. Super low health. Damn, with the 1% health thing, I don't get it. I know the shield is back up, but still, don't get it. Ecliptic. Right, Ecliptics versus Pirates. You know what? That means we're free to go for the ship. I think we could just steal it, so let's go for it. Kill the crew or leave the ship. We've got ladder. I haven't used ladders before. Kill the crew. Do we get out? Get out here? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God! <laughs> hey, we got some of the stuff I'm looking for. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? Oh my God! I'm so caught off guard. I did not expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect it. Close the door on them. Just give me a second. Let me think. Oh, get off the fucking ladder, Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you? Oh, can't shoot through the ladder. Oh, that is such bullshit. As long as they don't have a grenade, I think I'm okay. There's an explosive barrel there as well. If they come close. Okay. I guess we just grind them out. Love the idea of taking cover on the ladder. Just one guy left, I think. Oh, I forgot about the fucking barrel. Sorry. Jesus Christ, that nearly had me. Shotgun, maybe? Oh, there's no ammo. <laughs> Damn it, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Alright, there we go, got him. Is that it then? Let's just get a little bit of loot from these guys and then see if we can commandeer the ship. Anything else I'm missing? I don't know. Looks nice. Alright, I think we're good. Should we just... Is that a container? No. Alright, let's get in here, close the door. Assume command. Category C, seat. Oh, I feel, I feel like Dr. Evil. <laughs> You've commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to it in the star system, the ship will become your home ship. Quest objects or passengers will be transferred. Oh. Let's just take off quickly. I don't know if they, this can kind of get on or not. Damn, look at this. This is fucking sick. Yes! Let's go. Nice. It was almost like too easy though, right? Just to get that ship. Alright, so you now have a new home ship. Your previous home ship has been added to your fleet and to retrieve ships in your fleet that you've left behind. Go to a ship service technician and you can swap them out. Got it. Sweet. Alright. So this is Jemison. These ships should be pretty neutral and safe. I want to test fire the weapons, but maybe we'll just try to get clear of them for a second and then we'll fire. I just don't want to make them turn hostile or something. Also, I can't fire the car. It's not powered on. And then EM. It's like a big laser. Boosts work nice and fast. I'll tell you what, actually. Let's look at the photo mode real quick and we can get a look at the front of the ship. Oh, nice. A little thruster coming out the front there, I guess, to help. Well, actually, they both are on. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why, but okay. Oh, we can see ourselves inside there. In the little cockpit. Beautiful. Yeah, I like the uh, 
overall aesthetic. It's, it's nice. Let's uh, test out some more of the weapons and stuff. So we'll power down the engines. And maybe we can switch over to the R and turn that on. So, do the laser. Machine laser. I don't know what PAR and EM are, but uh, because it's different than what we have. We've got ballistics and lasers. Check it out in the ship builder. One of your ships is unregistered. You must register the ship before you can modify it. Okay. 91,000 value. Whoa. That may be a little too easy. And we could register for nearly 10,000. I wasn't quite done with exploration, so I'm just going to land for a little while, keep scanning things, find that last missing feature, and then we'll head back to the landing pad at New Atlantis. And, uh, we can maybe sell the ship or break it for parts or something. Yeah, there we go, we got more pirate hawks. Got him. Crocodonts, 100%. Easy peasy. Still a little bit to go though. We've got six more fauna and four more flora. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fu- Ow! Dude! I can't get away! Get up the hill, get up the hill. Oh, they keep stun locking me. Damn, these things are nasty. They really do chase you down. That's only a level one as well. So I've scanned enough stuff now that we can get the second tier of this perk. Adds another level of zoom to the scanner and then increases the distance. So let's check it out. So that's one and two. Better. That's kind of what I would anticipate the first zoom level should have been. Oh, what do we have here? Geysers? Or geezers. Never quite get the uh, pronunciation right on that one. It seems to change, depending who you ask. Oh, unexplored. Scan this location to uncover information about it. Oh, we've got people right there. Is she pointing a gun at that dude's head? Tyra? Hello? Are you friendly? Put the gun down, please. She's coming straight towards me. Please help me! My brother was attacked by some nasty creature and isn't going to make it much longer. He needs a med pack. Quick! Okay. Uh I'll have it I'll take a look at him. I can do it. Please. Thank <laughs> I you. think. Thank you. We are so lucky you're here, Doctor. I didn't say I was a doctor, but sure. I'm kinda suspicious though, she's carrying a weapon like are they gonna is this a, is this a bait? Hello, nurse, a doctor, whoever you are, I don't care. Just help. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. No, you'll be fine. You're like an angel from space. Yes, a space angel. Is that it? <coughs> okay. It doesn't seem better. What do you think, Tyra? He may be my annoying brother, but I don't oh, know what okay. I'd do without him. You guys gonna... Is that it? Maybe we'll meet them later. Oh, there we go. Melted glacier. A remnant of a retreating glacier indicates a rapidly changing landscape. Oh wow, 200 XP, I guess, for completing the set. So I suppose those are like the three unique features that we could come across. There's still other things to see, but it says biome complete now. So maybe we just have to move to a different part of the planet. Glacier looks cool. I don't know if this game has, like, on different parts of the planet, like, you'll actually come across... Well, it did say biome. Is this gonna hurt me? Yes. But not... Actually, it didn't hurt me, but it just told me that it's hot. Now, what about the water? Can we swim? Ow. It's not very deep. <laughs> A 
Anything I can help? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cost plenty of So I'm here in Jemison, and it seems like the ship has completely lost all of its value. I'm not sure why or if it changes based on where you go. Sure. How about it? Yeah, so the value says 11,000 unregistered, so to register it, we just click the thing. Uh, nope, that doesn't look like it did it. Well, seeing as it's not worth selling anymore, I might as well keep it. There we go. A white paint job with some blue trim. Thanks for nothing, jackass. Yeah, so... Such a shame, it was worth 90,000. I'm starting to think that maybe the cargo hold had something in it I didn't check. Anyway, we still have that quest to do to go and find those bioscanners, so I'm gonna get to that now. Visit these different districts we haven't been to yet. Alright, here we are in the commercial district. So it's my first time being here. I haven't really taken the time to explore New Atlantis all that much. Hello. So what do we have? We've got Galbank, Field Office, and UC Distribution. So, as a reminder, you know, we're here because of the guy Kelton that was next to the tree. He gave us a quest to go locate his biosensors. And I'm just seeing if we've got multiple in this district. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just one over there. So we're just going to mainline that. This should be a good way to kind of explore New Atlantis here at the beginning. Soak in the sights and sounds. And of course, this place... A day on this planet lasts a lot longer, so you'd expect to see a lot of people out at night because potentially nighttime goes on for like multiple days, really, what we're used to, so. Kind of interesting to think about it from that perspective. Valberg building in Weston. Don't know what these places are. Oh, looks like um, a little kid has our sensor. Hello? Jordan? Hey, are you looking for eggs too? Eggs. I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Um... Was the egg beeping? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? That is weird. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. Oh. I could really use the credits. Okay. I'll see you later. Didn't even say goodbye. Um... Yeah, so you see distribution. We actually saw that on the sign, so it looks like it's right over there. The sensor from Wen Seng. Okay. Let's make a move. Weston. It looks like this is pointed towards like Gal Bank. It kind of looks like a bank. Or some fancy building, anyway. You see distribution center. Let's check it out. United Colonies. Hey, we've got a little Roomba. It's just like a box on wheels. What's his capabilities? <laughs> Alright, so we have this like sort of post office, right? Basically. Hello. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval mm -hmm. and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Yeah, even Welcome in the future you got bureaucracy. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback okay. system is back online. Whatever, man. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. Yeah, also, I know how you people are. NPCs. Account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Okay, great. Uh, you bought an... Actually, you know what? I will bite. What is it you do here? You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact pleasant. with? Pleasant. Bit of a stretch. It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United States. That's cool, States. a little interstellar Never a dull post office, right? Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we okay. can. Okay. All right, sure. The egg. Who? Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why? What is it? Okay. You don't have to be so patronizing. He's just making a buck. Uh, let's see. Does it matter? Can I just have it? I'll tell her what it is. It's sensitive scientific equipment. It's very important. Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for. Oh. It. Plus, a little extra. Let's You're gonna play that game, huh? Me, shall we? Yeah, convenient indeed. It's only 100 credits, to be fair, Pleasure but I hate that with you. mercenary nature. Took a chance on her that she'd be an honest person. Oh, she sells things, actually. Yeah, yes, what else do you have? Of course. Please, take a look. Yeah, you're all scared now. 
Oh wow, they have weapons. We could take a look at some of them. 38,000 for a smart gun. N67 smart gun. Ooh, the rapid shot rifle looks cool. Scout's Equinox looks nice as well. The exposed cables and stuff on the side just looks kind of neat. A lot of detail on the on the guns. Looks really good. Ooh, a suppressor. Hmm. Right, right. All right, that's it. If you need something else. Thanks for nothing. Uh, so I think that was pretty much it for this district, the commercial district. So we'll just head over to one of the other ones. Uh, so SSNN is the Settled Systems yeah. News Network. Got it. Uh, but yeah, we'll just head to another district and uh, pick up the rest of these. Residential. Alright. Ooh, the weather. Ooh, a little bit of lightning. The weather has turned in the residential district. I don't, don't know if that has any bearing on anything, really. So, what do we got? The Pioneer Tower, the Reliant Medical, and the Apollo Tower. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spacers. Excuse me? Are they like an affiliated Sorry, group or something? Nice ride. Thanks. Stole it myself, don't tell the other one. <laughs> yeah, like a spacer. Are you just a spacer if you do those things, or is there a guild that you join? I don't know. Because otherwise, I could be one. Find your tower. There's our scanner. Sweet. Alright, as easy as that. Yeah, we'll have to explore these places properly. Obviously get to meet people, pick up on quests. It seems like a lot of the quest. Oh! <laughs> Guess we hadn't discovered it. Um, it seems like a lot of the quests are things you just pick up by overhearing people. So you gotta spend some time exploring. There we go. There's one more. I think there's just one more after this. Uh, yoink. And the other one seems to be close to the lodge. So we'll head back over there. Sergeant Huey is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Alright, got it. Last one. And we'll head back to Kelton. Nice. Uh, so he's pretty close by. We'll just run around here. But yeah, it's kind of interesting the way you just pick up quests that way. It makes me feel like, what if I hear a little bit of dialogue and then I didn't catch it or something? It doesn't trigger? I, I don't know. I'm guessing they thought of that. I'm sure it plays multiple times if you return to the same area. I have that kind of FOMO feeling like, oh, I might miss people's conversations. But it does encourage me to listen to everybody, I guess. All right, Kelton, he's just been standing here all day. I mean, I did go around the planet exploring for most of the day, but... If the data is to be of any use. I think I have them all, right? I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors and quick. Okay, geez. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just okay. upload the data. Give it a moment. I've gi I'm giving it a moment. Okay. Actually kind of realistic, I suppose. And just another moment. It is working. I should hope so. Is it? Is he going to get eaten by the tree or something? No, oh, okay. There it is. Relief. So because I wasn't locked into dialogue with him, I decided just to go back to bed, advance time to brighten up the day and then talk to him again. So let's see what he's got. Well, there's good news and bad news. Bad news first. The good okay. news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong. How's that good? <laughs> I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. 
It doesn't sound like good news. <laughs> well, from a certain point of view. I haven't met one it, nice person in this game so far. Somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra low frequency mm -hmm. sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. Only if it became really loud. I must loud. consult with my colleagues in Mast at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. I hope so too. How much? 2,500. Okay, good. I got some extra XP. Is that it then? Oh, we'll talk to him later, did it say? Yeah. Alright. Maybe they'll s the trees will start speaking to each other or something. Yeah, I think I just saw some drop out of the air there. Alright, I think we'll just have to call it there for this episode. It feels like we did quite a bit. Stole a ship, completed a quest, did some exploration, scanned the planet, found features, found some people. Quite eventful, actually. So, yeah, that's going to have to be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.